So in my previous video, I have already shown you the derivation related to the vacancy defect in a crystal. The formula to calculate the vacancy defect in a crystal is, what was the formula? N is equal to capital N e to the power minus e v by kt. kt. This was the formula, right? Where K means Boltzmann constant, T means absolute temperature, EV means average energy required to create one vacancy defect, small n means the density of vacancy defect, number of vacancy is the number of vacancy defect, and capital N means number of atom. This is the formula that we should know already, right? Now, let's see what is given in this question. First of all, let me read the question. This question is saying that if the average energy required to create a vacancy defect, so we need to work with vacancy defect in a metal where one electron volt, that means EV is given, then we need to calculate the ratio of vacancy in the metal at two temperatures, that is 1000 Kelvin and 500 Kelvin. So the values given are EV is equal to one electron volt, temperatures are given as 1000 and 500 Kelvin. These are the two temperatures that are provided already, right? And we know the formula N is equal to N e to the power minus e v by, e v by kT. This is the formula that we already know, right? Now let's put the, so, so for, for T is equal to 1000 Kelvin. So for T is equal to 1000 Kelvin, this formula reduces to N 1000 is equal to n e to the power minus e v by k into t means 1000 right similarly for t is equal to 500 kelvin for t is equal to 500 kelvin this formula reduces to and 500 is equal to n e to the power minus e v by 500 into k this is the formula that we get right so Let's find the ratios. Let sorry, n one thousand divided by n five hundred. We need to find the ratio at two temperature. This will be equal to n e to the power minus e v by k into one thousand divided by n e to the power minus e v by k into five hundred. These are the two values. That this is what we get. N n will get cancelled out, and it will be exponential of minus e v by k into 1000 divided by exponential of minus ev by k into 500 right now we have the value of ev that is 1 so replacing ev with 1 and let's take this value to the numerator so it will be e to the power this value will go up and get the sign change this will be uh, 1 by k i am taking 1 by a common it will I am taking 1 by a common from both of them. So 1 by k into 1 by 500 minus 1 by 1000. This is what we get, right? e to the power 1 by k. Uh, if we solve this, then we get some value. Uh, <coughs> this will be 1000. This will be 2 minus 1. So 1000 e to the power 1 by k into... 1 by 1000 this is what we get isn't it now let's put the value of k k means boltzmann constant we know we know the value of k is 6 sorry 8.625 the value of k that is boltzmann constant is 8.625 into 10 to the power minus 5 so let's put this value of k over here so it will be n 1000 divided by n 500 is equal to e to the power 1 by 8.625 into 10 to the power minus 5 into 1000. And if we put it in calculator, then we get a value. Let me write the value directly e to the power 11.59, which will be equal to 1.080 into 10 to the power 5. So this is the required value for the ratio of the vacancy defects created at two temperature they are n is it, sorry, they are 1000 kelvin and 500 kelvin so this is this is the 
this is an example of a numerical problem relating to uh, backend scientific in a crystal. In examination, they might give you questions like this and you need to solve and find the required values. Sometimes they might give you this small n from the formula and other data and they will tell you to find capital N or sometimes they will uh, sometimes they will uh, give you small n, capital N, kt and they will ask you to find ev you just have to use this formula and do the mathematical calculation necessary for the necessary for the question i hope you understood this numerical problem this was a very easy numerical problem and you can solve this type of numerical problem very easily as well thank you for watching the video